Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show on YouTube, and it's your favorite time, empties! So last time we did an empties, we just took a third of the bag because I am so far behind on empties, it's not even funny. So this is going to be August empties part one. There will be at least a part two, maybe even a part three. But before I get into the empties, I just wanted to say, what? Sherry in Bethesda, thank you so much for this. Denise went over to our P.O. box yesterday and there was a parcel and I'm so freaking pumped. It is a whole bag, a plethora, a mother load, if you will, of face masks, Korean, Taiwanese, like it seems like all Asian face masks of every different kind and variety and it's so cool. Um, I've not tried one single one. I went through every one. I haven't tried one of them, so I will be getting into those. Thank you again, Sherry. It was so sweet. Um, she told me that she was supporting my no-buy by sending me these sheet masks so I wouldn't have to buy my own sheet masks. Thank you so much. I love it. And you will see these in empties to come because... Mama loves a sheet mask. So we're gonna start with some makeup today. I've got two mascaras to show you. One is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions, which I have to tell you, to me, was not one single bit different than the old school Clump Crusher. It felt the exact same to me. It's all right. It's just, you know, now with Miss You Big, with Better Than Sex, with that IT mascara, I find it hard to go back to drugstore mascaras. I think if I were younger, I'd still enjoy this. As you age, you need more and more definition around the eyes, and, and the lashes are the best way to do it. So I probably would never get this again. Now this is a new one that CoverGirl came out with. It's CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. Supposedly it has, I don't know, olive oil and some other nourishing oils in it. It's supposed to be good for the lash. It is, I would say, a great mascara for a no makeup day because you, you can't tell you're wearing mascara when you have it on. It basically just coats each lash, darkens them a tiny bit, I'd say maybe it lengthens them just a little, but not much. Uh, but I don't do very many no makeup days. Either I have no makeup on at all and I'm staying home, or I'm going out and if I'm going out, I need some definition in my lashes and this isn't enough for me. Before I continue with the makeup, I'm gonna give you a few lippies. Uh, this you've seen many times before. This is the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Moisturizing Lip Balm, one of our favorites. A major staple in this household, Carmex. Denise swears by Carmex. She prefers it in the pot. I like it in the pot or the squeeze tube. You'll always see this in the empties. We absolutely love this. Incredibly overpriced. Keep your money in your wallet. Don't waste your time or your money. This is La Mer. Um, what is the official? La Mer, the lip balm. You know how crazily overpriced La Mer is. Denise is standing right there, so I don't want to say out loud that this lip balm is $80. Denise just had a stroke. <laughs> she was like, ah! Are you kidding? It's friggin' petroleum. That's what it felt like. It felt like Vaseline. Um, Oh, what a wasty, wasty, wasty. And I gotta tell you, that's the first time Lisa Eldridge has has recommended something that I'm like, eh. I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna say petroleum. It's not it's not as like useless as petroleum. It is nice. Um I used it I can't use it before makeup, it's too too mushy. I used it before bed, but when I wake up in the morning, I can't feel it on my lips anymore. Unlike the Agave Lip Mask, which is only like 30 bucks and stays on your lips. So I'm just saying, I don't think you'll see that again in my collection. Unless La Mer says, please let us send you another pot for free to try to convince you. This is a blush I am letting go. I am not done of it, but it's very, very old and I already broke out a new one. This is one of my all time favorite blushes. It's the Blush Satil uh, Sheer in Sheer Amorose. If you watch my blush um, declutter video, you know that this is a blush I've been using since I was 19. And I have a brand new one in the collection. And this is a very old one, which I use quite a bit of. You can't see it on there, but it's almost at pan and I'm letting it go. One that I did finish, which you can tell by how messy and ugly the outside is. It is my second favorite blush of all time. And you can see a little bit of the dust left in it. 
it is Orgasm by NARS and just this summer NARS came out with like a larger version of Orgasm and I picked it up because I will likely use that blush forever. Now speaking of sheet masks, I got a whole bunch of things in sheets here. Estee Lauder Stress Relief Eye Mask, love it. First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, good if you don't have never used a chemical exfoliator on your face, nice and gentle for you if you're someone like me who's really used to exfoliants, not strong enough. This is the outer packaging for the Estee Lauder, the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder Instant Wake Up Eye Refresh Pack, enjoy those. You're used to seeing these, the Sephora sheet masks. Two individuals of the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Masks, which Denise and I use a lot in the morning. My favorite eye mask on the market, the Karuna Renewal Eye Mask. God, these are fantastic. Couple of lavender foot masks from Sephora. The Cucumber Eye Mask from Sephora. The Argan Hand Mask from Sephora. All of those I would happily buy again. This is the Origins Flower Fusion in Violet. Probably wouldn't buy these again, although I still have a few in my stash. That's the individual packaging from the box that you'll see eventually. It's the Ula Henriksen Power Bright uh, facial treatment. So it starts with like a polishing mask, then a vitamin C treatment, then a mask that you put on over the top of it. Um, and then you let that sit for 15 minutes and your face is as soft as a baby's bottom. I love these. I tried the blue ones and these, I'm not even sure if they still sell. This I got is a little freebie from the Bay. It's Flawless by Friday Mesmerize Eye Mask System. It was cute. They were little blue jelly masks. They were all right. The Sephora Rose Face Mask. The Sephora Avocado Hand Mask and two of the acai hair masks. I love these, as I've told you before, they come with the uh, disposable shower cap and then all the goodies are in there and you sleep with it. This is a new self tanner. I'm saying new, I've tried these before. They're the Kate Somerville Skin Health Experts Somerville 360 Face and Body. The reason I'm saying they're new, when I've tried these before, the body ones were like a little mitt that you used. This is a fairly big towelette. I didn't use it on my face because I use a different self tanner on my face, but I use it on my body. Very convenient, not messy at all. Didn't darken me the way Saint Tropez darkens me, but did give me a nice glow. Got some hair stuff here. Uh, this is the Living Proof Anti Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. Love those. This is the Perfect Hair Day Shampoo. You saw the conditioner in the last one. These are all like travel size and I love uh, Living Proof hair products. Speaking of which, I came to the bottom of this. It's a Living Proof Style Lab Flex Shaping Hairspray and you can put it on your hair damp or dry. This was 85 grams um, and I had it in my travel kit for the longest time and I've now finally come to the bottom of it and letting it go. This I love. This is by Dry Bar. It's the Mai Tai Spritzer Sea Salt Spray. So it's like the Wave Spray by Bumble and Bumble which I use but the Bumble and Bumble Wave Spray, at least the one without the oil in it, my hair will feel kind of crunchy until I run my fingers through it. This I felt, and, it, and my hair gets dull with that one. This I felt my hair got the wave in it but didn't look dull or crunchy so I really enjoyed that. Now if you're following me on Instagram you saw these crazy masks. Dr. Jart sucks me in every time. I mean how freaking cute is that? These came in a little a little case which I put a picture of on Instagram like the four shakes in one. It's got the baby's faces on the top with a straw sticking out. When you open it they're called shaken shots. It's really really cool. Um, so when you open it, this is actually like a spatula. There's two envelopes of product in here. You empty them, put them in, you put the lid on, put your finger over the mouth, shake it really hard, and then right away, because you only have about two minutes to work with the product, right away you take the top off, you use the spatula, and you put it all over your face. And as it dries, it turns into almost like rubber, like a rubber mask. So once it's completely dried, it pulls off like a rubber mask but you know how peel off masks are usually like they're they're really stuck to your face 
and when you pull it pulls all the fine hairs in your face off this isn't like that you can feel it sort of pulling away from your face as it dries and it comes off really easy and i absolutely loved it i have to say that last rubberized sheet mask by dr dart you know the ones that were in two pieces with the little thing of of product up in the corner i found that a gimmick i didn't dig it I love this and I felt like it had an effect on my skin. I really enjoyed them. No stranger to the empties, I went through a Lancome Bifacil, my favorite eye makeup remover of all time. I am trying a different one right now. I am trying a Chanel eye makeup remover. So when I get to the bottom of that one, you'll hear what I thought of it. This is a bit unusual for me. Um, I have chemical exfoliators that I use uh, at night. I don't tend to use toner. But for a while, I was using the Clinique three-step system, and this is the bottle of step two. It's the Clinique Clarifying Lotion um, for dry combination skin. It was all right. I remember loving the three-step system back in the day. I think I've just gotten so into, you know, like the P60 lotion and all of that that I've... I've maybe graduated on from this but I think um, if you're someone who likes a real simple skincare process that Clinique three-step system is pretty hard to beat so I'm not saying I don't love it I'm not saying I wouldn't try it again I'm just saying right now I've got so many products that I'm trying that exfoliate that there isn't room for a new one of this I was sad to see the bottom of this little guy this is the Dr. Dennis Growth Ferulic and Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Overnight Serum it's a wonderful serum, but as I said, my, my dermatologist has told me, you know, vitamin A at night, vitamin C in the morning, 1% vitamin A, 20% vitamin C. So right now I am just working through all the serums I have, and when I'm through all of them, I am going to use just what she recommends. She didn't, she sells a, her own line, she didn't try to power sell her line to me, she just said, Vitamin A at night, make sure it's at least this percentage. Vitamin C in the morning, at least at least just this percentage. And SPF, whatever else you do, that's just whatever you want to do. But those are the things that are going to make a difference in your skin. So as much as I enjoyed this, I don't know if you'll see it again. Here's a hair product I absolutely love. It's the Christophe Robet. Um, what does he call this? The... I should put my glasses on. This is his cleansing volumizing paste. I actually have this in full size. It is, it looks like poo, and when you drop some off your head unlathered, it looks like poo. Looks like you pooed in the shower. <laughs> it's very dark and gritty. Take a small amount. Like seriously, with my hair, this was like five uses, and I probably could have got six or seven. Take the smallest amount get it on your hands and rub it into your scalp right like really while your hair is wet but really get those grains to work on your scalp then add a little bit of water and watch this stuff foam i mean it foams like if you use too much you'll be rinsing your hair for like 20 minutes and when it is all rinsed out i use his volumizing conditioner with it your hair is so like any buildup or residue is gone your scalp feels fresh your hair feels so soft and light i love it i love it I, christophe robert is becoming a big favorite for me in the hair category in fact i just picked up his boar bristled brush he's got like a combination nylon and boar i have a, a mason pearson just boar bristle brush which i love but sometimes if my hair is particularly knotty, the boar bristle won't get through it, but the nylon boar bristle combo will. You can get a Mason Pearson like that, but their, you know, their brushes are so expensive, his is not near as expensive, so I really enjoy it. I've got things that you're used to seeing. Wet ones that I use in my makeup room. Wet ones that I use on the road. Face wipes that you will never ever see again. So Bioderma, a brand I love. I use the Bioderma Micellar Water. I love the Bioderma Moisturizer. Um, I've tried Bioderma Cleanser, love it. These were horrible. They were so dry, they did not remove anything from my face. So then I opened the package and I squirted a bunch of the Micellar Water in on them, put them in a Ziploc bag, they were wet but basically it was like putting it was like using them as cotton pads i had to just keep squirting the micellar water on them to use them which makes them a waste because why not just use your micellar water with a cotton pad so 
these and in fact wipes all together when i'm done with the wipes i have you're not going to see any more wipes you know now by all the skin gurus from carolyn irons to whoever that they don't really remove your makeup most of us like to have them for those nights when you come home you're like tanked it's two in the morning you just don't have it in you to go in the bathroom and be a good girl and remove all your makeup so generally like in the old days that would be me <laughs> falling face first onto the pillow matching my false lashes into my head and my just caking my makeup on now i'm at least responsible enough i still get tanked but i've got my cellar water right by the bed grab a grab a, a cotton pad a couple of swishes with that good enough you know what i mean on those nights so i just don't have a need in my life anymore for the wipes so once i'm done with the ones i have i won't buy any more this is so heavy it seems like there's still something in it but i actually use this up it's the warm and cozy pink uh, two-in-one wash and scrub from Victoria's Secret it's a lovely product but I say again I said it before this is not convenient in the shower and then so you take this off you put the scrub in your hand then you're trying to like hold this while you've still got the scrub either on your hand or on your scrunchie and trying to get this cap back on and you drop the cap and half the product slips off your hand people flip top flip top it's so simple Put a flip top on crap that's meant to be used in the shower. This is a hand soap that we used up. It's the Bath and Body Works Garden Sage and Mint. We use the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. We are still using up the stash of this we had. I just told Denise the other day, fall is in the air. We are taping this on August 1st. My niece, my great niece Hannah's birthday. Happy birthday, Hannah. Fall is in the air. I'm going to enjoy the last month of summer. We're going to get to the beach every chance we get, but I'm already thinking of my favorite season, fall. And even though I hate the Bath and Body Works candles, fall is the one time of the year I gotta buy them. I gotta have my leaves candle. I have to have the ceremony of, excuse me, it's fall and I'm switching to Bath and Body Works home care because the smells are so amazing. So you will see some fall soaps when fall rolls around. I also used up this shower gel. It's the Satsuma shower gel by The Body Shop. It's a favorite of mine. I am not a fan of the new um, bottles that they're putting their shower gels in. Yes, they have a flip top. That's wonderful. I have arthritic hands. It's a very, very stiff bottle. It's hard to squeeze. Um, anybody else with arthritic hands or any kind of mobility issues in their hands or age even will find it hard to squeeze the juice and the juice is wonderful, but hard to squeeze the juice out. I also wonder, because you know, now that Anita Roddick is dead and in her grave, and Cosmere owns the body shop, this kind of plastic does not strike me as pre-used, reused plastic, the way the body shop was always known for. Um, this kind of really hard, clear plastic, it seems to me is like, and I could be just talking out of my ass here, I'm not sure, but, it just doesn't seem as environmentally responsible as what they're... I know the original shower gel containers were made by recycled plastic. So anyway, love the stuff, hate the case. Sorry, somebody said last time, I can't believe you only had one candle in that. Understand this is an accumulation of stuff over a few months and we're just digging a bunch out for each empties video. So this time we found two candles that we dug out. Uh, Joe Malone, oh, love them. This is the wood sage and sea salt candle. Like this is one of my favorite scents of theirs. I'd say if I was naming my, my all-time favorite um, uh, Joe Malone scents, it would be blush suede and peony, number one. Uh, wood sage and sea salt, number two. Blackberry and bay, maybe number three. But I mean, I'm wearing gray, what is it, gray lavender and freesia, I think today, and or maybe Grey Gardenia? And, anyway, something in Frisia. Love it. I love all the Jo, jo Malone, but this is really a lovely scent in the summer. And her candles burn beautifully, flat to the bottom. This was so pretty. It's a Rifle Paper Company candle. It burned well as well. It went to the bottom and it was, it's called, and you can see right here, it says Chant de France. So I am probably going to clean this one out and use it for pens and pencils on my desk or brushes or something like that because it's so pretty it's super heavy too it's nice heavy duty glass and I can't remember what it smelled like it had a pretty summery scent to it and while we're on scent um, K 
came to the bottom of this. This is, I think, the second or third bottle of Bronze Goddess I've gone through. Estee Lauder comes out with this every single summer. It smells like suntan lotion and a mild summery perfume and the sun and the beach and the sand. It's not as pure suntan lotion as Bobbi Brown Beach, but it is beautiful and I get so many compliments when I wear this scent. You saw in the last video the body cream and body splash I had come to the bottom of and since then I've used up the whole bottle. Not to worry, I have another one in my collection which I will pull out for next summer. Right now I'm wearing uh, Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Uh, so that will bring me to the end of summer, but at the beginning of next summer you'll see this again. This makes me weep. So we were going through my perfumes and they all still smelled great. When I came to this, which is Tom, Floor, Tom Ford's Orchid Soleil, I sprayed it on and Denise was like, oof. Oh, that's that's horrible. I said, oh, let it set a bit because he has very strong perfume. You know, you got to let it. So we let 10, 15 minutes go by. She smelled again. Ugh. She's like, no, it's horrible. And I remembered when I got this that I really loved it. But as I was smelling it, I thought, that is nasty. So I ordered the roller ball and I put the roller ball on. And that's when I realized it went off. I keep all my perfume in a dark drawer a lot of them still in their boxes plus this is a dark bottle that doesn't let light get at it so i don't know how it happened but this went off and tom ford is not cheap and it's only been used to like here but i gotta throw it out because it really smells like cat pee but don't let that discourage you if you see this and you want to try it because when it is not off it is really spectacular very strong though if you're someone who likes light scent you don't want to use anything Tom Ford. You've seen these before. Denise swears by it. That beautiful soft skin you see on her body. It's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula uh, with vitamin E. And it's the one that says heals and softens 24 hour moisture on the front. She loves it. It smells spectacular too. Letting this guy go. We used him last summer and this summer. It's a plug-in from one of our bathrooms from Bath & Body Works. Um, and we are letting that go now. Two more shower creams. These were travel size ones, both in the same flavor. They're both the Body Shop's Coconut Shower Cream. When summer comes, I love getting into the Body Shop like cocoa butter, coconut, the mango, and you know, it's a lovely shower cream and it just smells like summer. Fingernail stuff. I'm throwing out this little, I had this little mini Ciate uh, nail file, like you could run that on your nylons and it wouldn't run them like it's it's useless i used up a bunch of the accent nails from Encoco. go on instagram to see what those look like and a bunch of the Encocos. you can go on instagram to see what those look like i'm wearing Encocos today check it out on instagram came to the bottom of this won't replace it it's the uh fast drops little drops from zoya you can put it on top of your your manicure and it just helps them to dry quicker you don't smudge as quickly it's just like this oily content a lot of manicures will just actually drop almond oil i do my nails at home i do in cocos on wednesday nights on sunday nights is when i do my full manicure and i paint i make sure i've got the time i sit and i paint i let them dry if i'm ever in a hurry I just use in cocoa so I don't really have a need for this. I won't buy this again either, not because it was bad. It is the CND Cuticle Away Cuticle Remover. It's all right, but I have to tell you, the much cheaper, it's so easy to get, walk into any drugstore, go to the nail section, get the Sally Hanston Instant Cuticle Remover. It's a little squeeze bottle, but this big, the gel is blue. It's like it instantly removes your cuticles. Like you put them on and you let them sit for 60 seconds and then you push them back works like a charm so much cheaper so much faster than an overpriced product like this by CN. one little wallflower flower thing this one was in the scent pistachio ice cream mm. denise used up a full one of her i'll unroll it so you can see it it's dr hoshka uh, rose day cream she loves it i thought this was going to be her regular jam but she's also really loving the waleda skin food and the skin food is cheaper than this because this tube is 50 bucks where the Waleda tube I think is about 30 bucks so 
we're going to see where it goes with this. Love this. I don't know if it works, but psychologically it makes me feel better. It's, it's by This Works. It's the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. It sprays a beautiful smell of lavender on your pillow, and that is supposed to help you sleep. I love the smell of lavender, so I use it and enjoy it. I'm an insomniac, so I'm not sure I can say it totally may helps me sleep, but it sure doesn't hurt. I'll put it that way. Some more mini stinkies, as Denise calls them. I used up two of my minis by Tory Burch. Just this is just the original Tory Burch, which I enjoyed. Wouldn't be my favorite. I wouldn't necessarily run out and buy it in full size. But this was the Tory Burch, just like heaven. This smelled really nice. If I wasn't on a no buy with 10,000 bottle of perfumes in my room. I would actually consider this. This was a really beautiful floral scent. More summer, more more daytime. I wouldn't necessarily wear it on a date, but beautiful bottles, both of them. Another little mini of one that you all know. This is Marc Jacobs Daisy, which is such a nice light scent for summer. Again, a day scent, not something you wear when you're looking to get laid, if you know what I mean, but a really nice scent that won't offend anybody if you wear it during the day. Two from Atelier, minis from Atelier Cologne. These both came in my advent calendar. Um, and Atelier perfume is so expensive. I'm thrilled. No, actually this one came in my advent calendar. There was a beauty deal on Sephora and I got a bunch of these because again, the full size is so expensive and I love them so much. This is the Clementine California, which is such a beautiful scent. Yes, it smells like clementines. There are clementine notes, but it's a it's a cologne, right? So there are other scents in there. It doesn't just it's not like little girl like just smells like clementines. It's sophisticated. It's beautiful. Again, more of a day scent, but gorgeous. This one, oh, Mandarin Glacial. It is so gorgeous. It's a cologne absolute. It's a bit more expensive in their line. You could wear this at night in the summer. It's smoldering. It's gorgeous, but it still has that citrusy base that most colognes have, very splashy smell. Um, I mean, that's what Atelier does, right? They're, they're bringing cologne to a whole different level. And in the summer, particularly, I think cologne is beautiful. Uh, although Atelier does have some beautiful scents for the winter too, but in the summer, I really find myself reaching for them. And I changed out the head on my Clarisonic. This was one of those really long bristled brushes, which I enjoy. Right now I'm using the Sensitive, which is shorter. I change out my heads every three months, as they recommend. Um, and I never have any trouble with my face. I bought this in full size. I so recommend this. This is the Supermodel Body by Charlotte Tilbury. Now, ladies with tattoos. If you have tattoos on your legs, you know if you buy like any of those blurs or any of the leg makeup stuff, it frigs up what your tattoos look like. Like it puts a weird color coding on top of your tattoos and if you try to just put it where you don't have tattoos, it, it doesn't look right. It's very difficult to find good color prettiness for your legs when you have tattoos. If you've seen my Instagram, you've seen some of my full body shots, you know I have very big leg tattoos. This is amazing. It just, and I love bringing it down over the top of my foot, it colors a bit, yes, it darkens, but it creates this blur and this glisten. So you can put it in like a straight line down the front of the leg to create, you know, the the illusion of of lengthening the leg. I have pretty long legs to begin with. I put it all over because I just think it makes my skin look as if I'm Denise Tompkins. Amazing. Denise's favorite in travel size, it's the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. You'll see a lot more of that. This is a product I love. It's the body butter from the body shop, but it's in the scent Moringa. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if they still carry this. This was in my travel kit. Loved it. Didn't love this. I used it until it was almost gone and then it fell out in one solid chunk. It's by Tarte. It's the Tarte Lidlock Eye Base. It was in the color Buff. When I first used it, I thought it was great. It dried out on me very quickly. I don't know if it got hit in my makeup bag and it was like air got at it, but it, it came out in a solid block, so doing away with it. Uh, Denise came to the end of another Tarte Maracuja C Brightening Eye Treatment. She loves this, but she is helping me get through the stash. 
by using other eye creams that we have on board before we repurchase. So she might find one she likes better, who knows? Used up one of these sleeping masks from Sephora in green tea. And down to the final two products. This is a travel size of the, the healthy deodorant in the sport line from La Vanilla. Um, and it's nice because it fits in the travel bag. And the final product, I just opened a new beauty blender put my old one in here. This was the Flesh Tone Beauty Blender. Um, I enjoy it because the colored beauty blenders, this never happened when Beauty Blender first came out, but the colored beauty blenders now leach a lot of color when I'm washing them. And that kind of bothers me because it makes me wonder about what I'm putting on my face. Now I have a bunch of colored ones that have just been, that are in my stash that I'll be using because I change these out every three months as well. Um, but at least this particular color, although you can see the dirt on it more, it doesn't leach dye when you're washing them. And that's the end of this empties. I hope that you enjoyed it. As I said, we only went through a third of the bag, so there will be an August empties part two. If you've tried any of these products, let me know. If there's something in there that I didn't like that you like, maybe use it a different way, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be really interested. In hearing about that and the next video up if you loved the blush declutter the next video will be my bronzer and highlighter declutter now I sold my blush that I decluttered most of which the brush had never touched over on Facebook a couple of you bought I just put them in big lots there are there is some left I am gonna then put it in new lots with whatever highlighter and bronzer I get rid of and sell it over on Facebook again. So if you're interested in any of that, you can go over there. But it's not on the Candy Show Facebook. It's on my personal Facebook, which is Candy Palmiter. No, Candy J Palmiter. All right, thanks so much for watching.